Hi everybody, welcome to my Minecraft tutorial. This is episode number 26 in my How to Survive and Thrive series. And if you are familiar with the series, then you would recognize this place as Cloud Tower. The front may look a little bit different because it is. I put in this sandstone, and sandstone was added in version 1.2 beta update just a few days ago. And it's not because it looks pretty. It actually does serve a purpose and the implications are rather important and I will explain those in a minute. So this episode 26 I want to show you how to make a dispenser, a turret if you will and add that to my home defense and that just came out with version 1.2 essentially you can fill it up you build it first, you craft one, you, you place it somewhere strategic like near a door for instance, you fill it up with arrows and then you can activate it in multiple ways and it shoots the arrows out and kills your bad guys. It's cool. And sandstone here is crafted with regular sand, and I'll show you how to make that. And the reason I'm changing all this around in front, this used to be dirt or cobble and wood fence, is that spiders now climb. Yay. Yeah. So yeah, dirt, wooden fences, cobble, no longer safe for your defensive perimeters you must have sandstone uh, sandstone because they cannot climb the surface they can hop like so but they can't climb it so that is going to be very important in our outer defenses so let's uh, let's go make a dispenser open this guy up and for a dispenser you need cobble redstone and a bow take your cobble Place it like so. Redstone in the bottom, bow in the center, and you got a dispenser. Think. I'm gonna go ahead and make two of these. I've already got two made up, but I'm going to need two, four. Let's drop these down here. Um, sand. Do I have sand? Two, three, four, and I'll show you how to make sandstone. This is sandstone right here. Again, it's a block you can build with. Unlike sand, it does not conform to physics. So if I place a block like that, it doesn't fall like sand usually does. It actually sticks. And you bust it up and you get sandstone back. Very cool. So I will eventually have to go around all the way and replace all of this stuff with sandstone. Because spiders can get in and climb up while I'm sitting inside in my courtyard admiring the beauty and watching the sun set, spider will climb right up and bite my face off. And that's not fun. All right, dispenser. Let's plop down a dispenser. Now I want the dispenser to shoot this way. So I want the hole to face this way. In order to do that, you want to face away from the hole, like so. So place it, there's the hole, it's going to shoot there. Look in the back, whoa, no hole. Right click on it, and it's got an inventory. See, dispenser, lots of room here to put stuff in. I'm going to put arrows in. You can put dirt, you can put eggs, you can put cooked pork chop. It will fly out. But cooked pork chop is not going to kill the bad guys when they come a-knockin'. Arrows will. So I'll stick with arrows. Thank you very much. I'm going to put one here as well. I'm going to get a nice little crossfire. We do things right around here. What? Who said that? Okay, so let's put another one here. There we go. I'm going to get a crossfire on my door so when I come out in the morning... And I'm still sleepy going to get the morning paper. <sighs> Everybody will be dead. Well, the bad guys, not my neighbors. Well, the neighbors might be dead too. Alright, now we need to activate these suckers. So, let's do this. Oh wait, I didn't put anything in this one. 64 arrows for you, my friend. 64 arrows for you as well. Equal opportunity around these parts. Everybody gets 64 arrows. Thanks for playing. And now we want to activate it. So I'm going to activate with redstone. Wire or dust. And just click on it as long as it's 
um, pointing toward it. It should work fine. I'm going to put a pressure plate here. And, you know, let's take the arrows out first, and you'll be able to hear the click as it fires. See? Boom. Boom. Let's put in some sandstone. Yeah, put a little dirt in there. Watch what happens. Oh, ow! Oh, hey! See? Just catch it. It's fun. You can play catch for hours all by yourself. So, there's one. That'll clear that trench somewhat. Now I want to make another one here. I'm going to put one on my door. And on this side as well. Boom, boom, boom. And it's getting dark, so we must hustle. Now, these have arrows in them, so I like that. So, now you want to jump this. Oh, that could get a little tricky. Made it. So now, we've got an automatic little turret system here. Anybody hops up on the door, they're going to get wasted. And my murder holes still serve their purpose. They work fine in a pinch. Oh. Yeah, these are still here. I, I want to take these down. Because <laughs> I want to show you how I did these. It's a little dark in here, isn't it? Let's light it up. Okay, so now you can see the redstone out there. Oh, shoot. Oh, I am on normal. Okay. I thought I was on peaceful there for a minute. Um, so, yeah, where was I? Redstone. Now, I want to make these... Um, ah, I forgot to take down my buttons. Okay, forget, just pretend they weren't there. Thank you. All right, so now I'm going to attach a little redstone wire here, and I want to be able to shoot these manually as well as automatically. So when the creatures jump on that, it shoots them, so it don't have to be here all the time. I might be down here, I don't know, baking a cake, or checking my inventory, or playing records, or... Um, looking for cockroaches who knows and that thing will still be shooting and killing or if I just want to get involved and be an interactive murderer I can do this ha ha and I'm gonna put a couple over here as well so one here and oops I need redstone to activate that testing working fine so now I've got I didn't test that one Always test your creations, particularly if your life is on the line. Okay, now, I'm still vul uh, vulnerable, even. I'm still vulnerable here to spiders, so I need to be cautious. I don't want anybody sneaking up behind me. Oh, zombie. Yeah, let's go grab him. Get his attention. Yo. No, no, up. Yes. Great. Shoot him in the butt. He still doesn't know where I'm shooting him from, so... Let me just take a peek around the corner. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Woohoo. Hello. Where are all the bad dudes? There's one. Come on. I want you to test out my new doorbell. Yeah, just walk right up and press it. Like you. Thanks, neighbor. Yeah, just just press it. Just press it. No, you can't. No, just press it outside. Yeah. What? What happened? Get off the plate. Get off the plate. Off you. Off. What's wrong with you? Press it again. It's, I don't think it's working. Just press it again. Jump. Yeah, could you just do that one more time? It's not working right. Just press it again. Thanks. Thanks, neighbor. Just press that button. Yeah. Lousy bum. Oh, because he's on it. Hmm. Yep, well, I'm going to have to remove one of these and make one separate off, take it off that circuit. Because it, as he's standing on that, that'll be a problem. All right, try again. Come on back. Yeah, you should bounce more. You really should. So what I need to do, there's a little minor flaw in the design here is separate these two circuits, have maybe a, a separate pressure plate here on the side, and then that one will go to that one. I can do that. I can do it. You can do it. And I may just go do that right now, actually. Whee! Ow! Told you. Alright. 
that out of work. And let's go see if we can find someone else to touch the doorknob. A ringer. Come. Sheep, you could probably test too. He's got fingers. Sort of. Yep, yep, yep. Just follow me, please. Right there. Press that button. Ooh. Jump higher. No, jump higher. Oh, man. These guys are just dumb. I want to have such dumb neighbors. All right. Well, we'll test the old manual shot. Aw. Oh, it's still not working for some reason. I think that's... Oh, you know what? I've got to put it over here. That's what I've got to do. All right. Take that one down. What's going on with this one? Double check that one. Oh, it's so fun. Oh, your head fell into my basement. I may just have a little piece of cake. That was worth a piece of cake. I've earned cake. When heads roll into my basement, I get a bite of confectionery sugared bakery goods. All right. Oh, spider. There we go. This will be a challenge. Now, here we'll test my sandstone. What? Oh, you're dumb. All right, this, that's not going to work. So I'm going to just put this back the way it was. Because I know it works. I'm just going to get the guy to step on it. Hey, over here. Quick, quick test, come on. Oh, forget it. All right, well, you get the idea. So that's pretty much it. So now I can activate these with my body. Or I can come down here and I can activate them by shooting like so. Oh, skeleton. Somebody else wants to play with the doorbell. Hello? Where is he? Oh, maybe not. Not a lot of bad guys out tonight. That's interesting. Well, okay then. There you have it. There. There's actually a couple other ways to activate these. There's a, a pulse unit you can make with uh, redstone torches and it powers it up and it shoots those arrows out like just ridiculously fast on an automatic turret. Um, obviously the disadvantage is you go through a lot of arrows if you can't stop the thing. I imagine there's uh, a way. I'm not very good with redstone uh, as you can see. Um, but I like things simple. This works for me. When I'm inside and there's something out here, if it jumps around on the plate and if it doesn't jump, I'll click a button. Um, and if that fails, I can hit him through the murder hole or right through my door. And like I said, I'll go around and replace all this wood with, uh, with sandstone, keep the spiders at bay, and uh, we'll be good to go here at Cloud Tower once again. So there you have it. I will see you folks next time. Bye-bye.